Hello students, a very good morning to all. I welcome you all to this chemistry class. I hope you all doing good and safe by the grace of God. Let's start the class with a quote. A greatest weakness lies in giving up. The most certain way to succeed is always to try just one more time. Said by Thomson A. Edison. Before we move on to today's topic, let's recap. Let's recall what we have learnt till now in this lesson. Students, we have studied about the Bohr atom model and then a wave particle duality of matter, de Broglie concept, Davison and Germer experiment, Heisenberg uncertainty principle, Schrodinger equation and the last one is quantum numbers. Students, this topic, that means today's topic is quite related to these two topics. One is quantum numbers, another one is Schrodinger equation. Let's start. Before that, I'll show you some images. First one, what is this? This is the shape. One is rectangle, triangle and circular. The next image is the orbital. So, I hope you would have guessed the topic. Shapes of atomic orbitals. Before we move on to our topic, now I am going to talk about how orbitals are shaped. The shape of orbitals is determined mainly by L, that is angular momentum quantum number and also called as azimuthal quantum number. I hope you would have learnt about uh, quantum numbers in your previous class. Values of azimuthal quantum numbers are assigned by the letters uh, S, P, D and F. So, the value for uh, the L value for S orbital is 0 and the L value for P orbital is 1. The L value for D orbital is 2. The L value for F orbital is 3. Before we going into these specific shapes, uh, let's see what are orbitals. Uh, orbital is basically just a region of space uh, where an electrons are most likely to be found uh, and uh, it's much more useful to us to try to pinpoint the location, exact location of the electron uh, because uh, the more we know about the electron's location and the less we know about the energy of the electron. Uh, so, the orbital is the three-dimensional plot uh, of the wave function of an electron square. The wave function psi describes the wave-like behavior of the electron and it is derived by the Schrodinger equation. Students, I have already said that today's topic is quite related to Schrodinger equation and quantum number. Students, in lower classes, we were taught about the solar system model of an atom that is Bohr atomic model. It made us to think that the electrons revolve around the nucleus in elliptical orbits. But this is not the case. Now, we will learn about the shapes of atomic orbitals. Let's start. First, we will see what is atomic orbitals. The atomic orbitals is the physical region or space where electrons can be calculated to have a highest probability of being located and essentially the atomic orbitals are a probability map for locating electrons for locating electrons around the nucleus of an atom. Then any orbital can be occupied by a maximum of two electrons occupied by a maximum of two electrons each with its own spin. So the atomic orbitals has a 90% uh, probability to finding an electron. Let's move on to shapes of atomic orbitals. We know that there are 4 orbitals present. What are they? One is S orbital, P orbital, D orbital and F orbital. An orbital which is of a small size states that there is more chance of uh, finding the electron near the nucleus. So, the shape of atomic orbitals and the orientation states that uh, there is no probability of finding the electron along 
some certain directions than among others. So, the solution psi of this Schrodinger wave equation of one electron system like hydrogen like hydrogen can be represented in the represented by the following form in spherical polar coordinates r theta phi as psi r theta phi equal to r dot f theta dot g phi where r is called radial wave function and these two are called angular wave function. Now let's see one by one. First one is the radial distribution function. So consider a single electron of a hydrogen atom in the ground state for which the quantum numbers are n equal to 1 and l equal to 0 that is it occupies oneness orbital so the plot of r square and r for oneness orbital is given this graph shows that the distance between the electron and the nucleus decreases means the probability of finding the electron increases at r equal to 0 the quantity r is a maximum that is the maximum value for a psi square is at the nucleus however the probability of finding the electron in a given spherical shell around the nucleus is important let us consider the volume dv bounded by two spheres of radii r and r plus dr the volume of a sphere v equal to 4 by 3 pi r cube so the dv equal to dv by dr equal to 4 by 3 pi 3 r square if you cancel this 3 3 means we get dv equal to 4 pi r square this dr will comes this side so the value for a psi square dv equal to 4 pi r square psi square dr. Let's see how the radial probability is defined. It is defined as the probability of finding the electron within a spherical shell enclosed between a sphere of radius r plus dr and a sphere of radius r. So r is the inner sphere and r plus dr is the outer sphere. Let's see the radial distribution curve. The radial distribution curve for oneness orbital is here it has only one peak. It does not have any radial node. So this shows that the maximum probability electron, the maximum probability occurs at distance of 0 0.59 Armstrong. So this is equal to Bohr radius. It indicates that the maximum probability of finding the electron around the nucleus is at this distance. Now, let's see the radial distribution curve for 2s orbital. The radial distribution curve for 2s orbital, it has a 2 peak and 1 radial node. Next, we'll see the 3s orbital. It has a 3 peak 1, 2 and 3 and it has 2 radial nodes. You can also calculate this by using the radial node formula that is n minus l minus 1. So n value is 3. So 3 minus l value for s orbital is 0 minus 1. So we have 2 radial nodes. One here and another one here. Now let's move on to the p orbitals. The distribution curve for 3p orbitals. It has a 2 peak and 1 radial node. We can also calculate this. n minus l minus 1. n value is 3 minus l value for p orbital is 1 minus 1. 3 minus 1, 2. 2 minus 1, 1. So, there is 1 radial node. 
Now let's see the 3D orbital. Here it has only one peak and does not have any radial nodes. Let's move on to the next topic that is angular distribution function. The angular distribution function describes the basic shapes of orbitals or the number of lobes in an orbital. Basic shapes of orbitals are S, P, D and F. In a radial distribution function, the square of the radial distribution function describes the probability of finding an electron in a given distance from the nucleus. Here, the variation of the probability of locating the electron on a sphere with a nucleus at its center depends on the azimuthal quantum number of the, of the orbital in which the electron is present. So, for a S orbital, the boundary surface diagram looks like a sphere having the nucleus as its center which is in two dimensions can be seen as a circle. The S orbitals are spherically symmetric having the probability of finding the electron at a given distance equal in all the directions. So, the shape of S orbital is a symmetric spherically shaped orbit surrounds the nucleus of atom. Then, it has a maximum of two electrons. L value for S orbital is zero. Let's move on to the shape of P orbitals. The shape of P orbitals are dumbbell shape and the value for azimuthal quantum number L equal to 1 and ML will take a value between minus 1, 0, plus 1. So, it is represented as X, Y, X, Y, Z and it is designated as PX, PY and PZ. The radial node for uh, p orbital will be calculated by using this uh, formula n minus 1 l minus 1. If we calculate this for uh, 3p means uh, we have uh, n equal to 3 and l equal to 1. So we get uh, 3 minus 1 minus 1 equal to 1. So 1 radial node. For uh, nodal plane uh, the number of nodal planes is equal to azimuthal quantum number L. So, the L value for P orbital is 1. So, here there is one nodal plane. Move on to D orbital. This is the shape for D orbital. The L value for D orbital is 2 and ML is equal to minus 2, minus 1, 0, plus 1 and plus 2. The radial node for uh, D orbital uh, is calculated by using the formula N minus L minus 1. For a 3D orbital, uh, N equal to 3 and uh, L equal to 2, we get uh, 3 minus 2, one, uh, 3 minus 2, 1 and 1 minus 1, 0. So, there is no radial node. For a 4D orbital, n equal to 4, l equal to 2. Here, 4 minus 2 minus 1 equal to 1. So, 1 radial node. For nodal plane, the number of nodal plane equal to azimuthal quantum number l. So, for D orbital, the l value equal to 2 and there is 2 nodal planes. Next, we move on to F orbital. This is the shape for F orbital. So, the L value for F orbital is 3 and ML is minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, plus 1, plus 2, plus 3. There are 7 different F orbitals. And it has a, it can hold a maximum of 2 electrons. It has 3 nodal planes. Okay students, let's recap what we have studied in today's class. We have studied about shapes of atomic orbitals. In that we have studied different shapes of atomic orbitals that is S, P, D and F. And then we have studied about radial distribution function and angular distribution function. Okay students, I hope you would have 
learnt the concept of today's class up go through the lesson and we'll meet in the next class thank you